Welcome to another Ashes to Beauty Artistry video. I'm your artist, Kara Suzelle. In this video, I will be talking about the process of a mural I painted at the Fountainhead Tap Room in Chattanooga. If you've never heard of that place, then here is a link to their website. The owner of the Fountainhead, Bert Casey, has done a phenomenal job with the place. They offer 60 different taps. They also have special events throughout the week and you can keep up with all of that on their Facebook page. So something different about this mural project was the fact that it was a collaborative effort between me and my artist friend Debbie Waits. This was a first time experience for me working alongside another artist on a painting. Debbie Waits is a lifelong friend of mine and also a phenomenal artist herself. So I recommend that you go check out her page to find out more information about her and view some of her work. Now without any further ado, let's jump into the painting process. Since we were going to be working on this beautiful old brick wall, we needed to prime it to make the painting area more smooth. When it dried, it still had the brick texture. It was just smoother than the rest of the wall, making it a little easier to paint on. I could have added another layer and then sanded that down, but I didn't want to change the wall too much in the area we were painting. I really love that brick. I started this mural by sketching the bear and barrel out in my sketchbook to give us a basic outline to project onto the wall. Because of this, we were able to knock out the outline on the wall quickly without worrying about sizes and proportions. We're using a yellow paint to outline because it is the least pigmented of the three colors we're using, making it easier to cover up later. For this mural, I decided to stick with a basic color palette using only red, yellow, blue, and black and white paint. Right now I'm mixing the colors for the background. Originally we started out with the idea of a very colorful background behind the bear, but later decided it was too much. So you'll see us changing it later. Nice 3D effect, I decided to paint part of the bricks back in behind the bear's arm and foot to give the illusion of a hole in the wall. You will later see the color layering process I do with the bricks to get a seamless transition from the painted brick to the actual brick. At the moment, I'm just blocking them in to get their alignment and position right. Once the bricks are where I want them, I go in to paint the cement. I also dry brush over certain areas of the brick to continue the old dusty brick visual that goes the length of the whole wall. So Debbie took charge of the barrel and taproom logo and she did an extraordinary job with the small details and texture of the wood. Now we're changing up parts of the background by going over the outer edges with two different shades of purple that I mixed up. Keeping the background cooler tones will complement the brilliant reds in the brick wall rather than compete with them like the red and yellow was doing. Now I'm going in with a bluer purple to continue cooling down the background and add a more textured look. Debbie started working on darkening up the barrel hoops and began outlining the wooden staves. Here, I decided I wanted the bricks to come out a little more behind the banner. white color to the banner, Debbie begins the fountainhead lettering. I 
created and used three different shades of color for the bricks and two different shades for the cement. Then I copied the details of the bricks above the painting to keep the bricks looking realistic. Now for the fun part, the process of making the bear come to life. As you will notice, I am ambidextrous when painting murals. Changing hands allows me to get the brush at the right angle since I cannot rotate the wall like I can with a canvas. I'm going in with a deep blue gray to add some mid-tones before the highlights. Since the texture of the wall will prevent me from getting small fur details, I can still make his coat look healthy and shiny from the way I create the light's interaction with it. favorite things to paint are eyes. So much intensity, emotion, and story can be captured in such a small area when painted correctly. Thankfully, the extremely textured wall did not interfere too much with me getting the details in the eyes and nose the way I wanted. I was also really excited about painting his paw. I had never painted a bear before this mural, so I was really enjoying painting all the different parts of this little guy. Voila, the highlights are done. On to the beer mug. I diluted the paint with my go-to M1 paint extender to lessen the opacity. After painting the foamy head and reflective glass highlights, I move on to the droplets from the condensation on the glass to give it that refreshing advertisement look. Now it's time for finishing touches. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more of my art videos. In the meantime, you can go to my website for more information and to view more of my art projects.